Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our first reading lesson from our homes. Um, today is Monday, April 13th, and our jobs for today. Let's take a look. So we have two jobs today for reading. Our first one says, I can read the sight words saw, what, and down. Those are our three new sight words this week. So try to um, practice those every day. You have your yellow sight word cards that um, were given to you in your packet. So please make sure you find those three words and you're practicing them all week. Our next job um, is says I can sequence my story or I can put my story in order. Remember when we sequence that means we are putting things in order from start to finish or from first to last. So that's what we'll be doing for reading today. All right so let's take a work look at our first sight word. The first sight word we're going to learn today is the word saw. Say the letters in the word saw with me. S a w saw so one thing that i will be sending out today on mondays will be these really cool videos that one of the teachers at school shared with me and this is a great video because since we are at home we do not have nearly as much time to practice our sight words in all the ways that we did but if you take a quick look i'm just going to show you a quick preview of this video they're fun and they do things like the mix and fix and what's missing at the end of the video so it's a very good practice so let's take a quick look just so we can kind of preview what this looks like All right, guys, so that's just a quick preview. Those are great to do. Even if you do those um, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, right after we get done with our lessons, that would be a great way to help you remember the sight words. All right. Okay, so let's go back over this word. This word is what? Saw. Spell it with me again. S-A-W. I saw a bird fly to the tree. Our next word for this week is what? Spell it with me, W-H-A-T, what? Um, what is your name? This word, what, is usually, um, it's called a question word, guys. This is a word that we use usually when we are asking someone something that we would like to know. The next word is down. This is a tough one. Down, spell it with me, D-O-W-N down all right so all the the three videos for all three of these words will be linked please take a second and watch them all right on we go so today we're going to be working on um, sorting some words based on the sounds that we hear so we know that a the letter a makes two sounds we have short a which says a ah, and then over here we have long a that says a so long A says its own name, and short A says ah. So I have some um, pictures and words here, and what we're going to do is I'm going to say the word, and you're going to help me sort the words depending on the sound that we hear. So for example, the first um, picture and word we have here is the word man. Should man go in the box with the ah sound or the a sound? Listen to the word again, man. Man has the ah sound, so it should go in the short A box. All right, let's look at this word. This is lake. L-A-K. What sound do we hear? Do we hear ah or a? Lake. We hear a. All right, now this is called an ace. 
Say the word ace to yourself. Do you hear the a ah or a sound? Ace. I hear the a sound. So we're going to put it right over here. All right, next one is a pan. Pan. So do we hear an a ah or a in pan? P ah, mm. Pan. We hear the short a sound. All right, and this one, this is for Matthew. Matthew, I hope you're watching this today because this one is especially for you, my friend. This is fat cat. So we have two words here. So think of the word. Say them to yourself. Fat cat. Do we hear a ah or a? That's right. We hear the a ah sound. Good job, guys. All right, and one more. This is a... Um, the fur around it, the lion's face is called its mane. M-A-N, mane. What sound did A say when I made all the sounds in the word mane? That's right. It said it said its own name. It said A. M-A-N, mane. All right, guys. Great job. So if you're sitting with someone, um, think of a word. Turn and tell someone next to you a word that you know that has the ah sound in it. Hmm. I know a word that has the ah sound. It's jam. J -a -m, jam. And turn and tell someone close to you a word that has the a sound in it. Hmm. Now, let's see. A, I know a word that has the a sound in it is rain. Er. A n rain. All right, guys, great job working on the a ah and a sound today. Let's move on to our story. So our story today is called Peter's Chair, and our job is to sequence the um, some of the events in the story. So remember, sequence means putting the events in the story events in order. So we will use the words first, next, then, and last to put our story in order. So it's just like Humpty Dumpty. First, he sat on a wall. Looking here, he sat on the wall. Next, oh no, he had a great fall. And last, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So before we start reading, let's think about a couple things. Let's think about a couple things as we read. Why is it important to put the story in order? And then also think about what would happen if you didn't have the correct order. So before we read, let's think about those questions when we're talking about Humpty Dumpty. If I was going to put these in order, would it make sense to put Humpty Dumpty, um, all the kings, this picture here, with all the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So would that make sense if I put it in the first box? No, because first Humpty has to sit on the wall and then he has to fall in order for the men to put him back to or try to put him together again. All right, so let's move on. So as we read the story, I want you to listen very carefully because we are going to have to put some of these things in order. OK, we're going to sequence them. All right, so let's get started. Sorry, let's go back here. So it's the story again is called Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. Crash, down it came. Shh, called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his, sis his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought, and they painted it pink. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help me paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. He saw his crib and muttered, my crib. It's painted pink, too. Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. He picked it up and ran to his room. Let's run away, Willie, he said. 
Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. His mother came to the window and called, Won't you come back to us, Peter dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear, but Peter got an idea. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. And they did. All right, boys and girls, so why did he decide to paint the chair after he was upset about the cradle and the crib? What changed his mind? Do you know? Well, I think if I go back in the story, I think what really changed his mind was this right here. He had wanted to keep this chair that had been his when he was a little boy. He wanted to keep it for himself because everything else he had when he was little had been taken to give to his sister and they painted it pink. But when he went to go try to sit in the chair, what happened? That's right, he didn't fit because he was too big. So I think when this happened, I think maybe Peter realized that he didn't need the crib and he didn't need the cradle and he didn't need his little chair and he doesn't need his high chair. So he was, he understood that he was growing up and he didn't need it. And it was okay for his sister to have it. So I think by the end, he was very excited maybe to give that blue chair some pink paint so his sister could have it. All right, guys, so let's move on to our job for today. Today, we were going to put the pictures in the correct order. We are going to sequence them. So we're looking for first, next, then last. We have four pictures here. So these are the pictures that we're putting in order. So take a quick look at those pictures and think to yourself, what is the first thing that happened in the story? That's right. So here we go. The first thing that happened in the story was Peter made the tower. The dog knocked it over. And what did mama say? Shh. You have to be quiet. So that's the first thing that happened. What happened next? Take a, whoops, take a look at these pictures. What happened next? Well, I know that what happened next was that Peter saw his blue chair. He didn't want them to paint it pink, so he took it to his bedroom. All right, so first, um, Peter knocked the tower down. Mom told him to be quiet because of the baby. Next, he saw his blue chair and took it away so they couldn't take so they couldn't paint that pink for his sister. Then what happened? That's right. Now, um, then Peter um, had come back into the house and he had tried to surprise Mama. And then what happened last, my friends? That's right. The last thing that happened was Peter, um, Peter and Dad painted the blue chair pink for his little sister Susie. Great. So now what I want you to do is I want you to use these pictures and use these words first, next, then and last and I want you to turn and tell someone the story that you see here with the pictures using of Peter's from the story Peter's chair I think you can do it and I know you'll do a great job so take a second to do that so let's make sure we did our um, jobs for today I can read the sight word saw what and down yep we did that and our other job was 
says I can sequence my story or I can put my story in order. And yes, we did that. And I hope as you were reading, you thought about these questions too. Why was it important? Why do you think it's important to put the story in order? And what would happen if you didn't have the correct order? All right, boys and girls. So today, um, our assignment for today is to rainbow write. So if you stay tuned for just a second, um, I will show you an example of rainbow writing. All right, boys and girls. So your assignment for today is to rainbow write um, your three new sight words. So what I have, um, what I need to do that is I have a piece of paper. I have my crowns and then I am going to use my sight word cards to help me um, write each word. So I have down, saw, and what. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these at the top of my paper as I write each one. I'm gonna start with the word what. So we have to rainbow write three times. So I'm gonna pick my first color. I'm just gonna write the word what. As I write, I'm going to say each letter. W, H, A, T, what? Next one. W, H, A, T, what? W, H, A, T, what? So I wrote the word what three times. So now I can move on to my next word. The next word is down. D O W N. D O W N. D O W N. All right, so now I have to do my next word, which is saw. Um, I'm gonna kind of just squeeze it over here. S A W saw. S A W saw. S A W saw. All right, boys and girls, so that is it. So what you need to do is write your uh, rainbow write, your sight words, three times each. Have mom or dad take a quick picture of that and they can send it to me through my email or through um, Parent Square. All right, guys, keep up the great work.